Welcome, Sarah Cravens. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy to see you and talk <laughs> to you. Absolutely. Welcome. It's really fun to have you. I haven't seen you in months. It, no, I, actually, it was the last time we did like a Zoom thing, right? We've never met in person. We've only met on Zoom because we did a live panel for the Health Network, correct? Yes. yes. If y'all don't know, Sarah does a shrimp ton of voice work, um, including Frost in Mortal Kombat, Power Girl in Injustice 2, Child Emperor, sounds creepy, we're going to ask about that, in One Punch Man, Valkyrie Hilder in God of War, and Death Stick in Star Wars Uprising. So tell me, you're, you're originally from the South, correct? I'm originally from Tennessee, um, so big time Southern girl from the sticks. But yeah. your your accent comes and goes. Sometimes you're like in it, oh, yeah. and other times you're like, nope. It just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, it gets real thick. Um, uh, if I like have gotten off the phone with like my mom, then I'm like real, real deep. Like to sometimes to the point that I'm not understandable to other human beings that aren't from the south. Um, because we just smush a bunch of words together and uh but yeah other than that i mean yeah i think i go in and out of it based on like my mood in in fallout i get to play this amazing like real like sticks southern like appalachian woman and uh and it was the best the session was so fun because they were just like you know what this is what it says on the page, but like, just say it how this woman would. And if it's a different word she would use, just roll with it. And it was awesome because they like let me be like, I don't think she'd say this or, or she'd pronounce it like this or whatever. And they just let me roll with it. Tell me about Frost and how this came about because Mortal Kombat's a big deal. Ah, oh, thank you. What a cool, you know, I, um, I love her so much. What's really cool about this character in particular is, um, she's kind of connected to my very first job ever that I like did, um, in, in, uh, the video game world. And so, so for anybody that is like watching that is, um, like a voice actor and, and you're like starting out, um, just, just know that like every, like you have no idea, you never know that the, the little work that you're doing along the way is, it, it's all building to like big, like if you're watching everyone else and you're like, they're, everyone's getting these big characters and I'm just like not doing anything, like every little piece matters. Um, so, so for Frost in particular, like who, which, what a dream, like I, you know, I I was not like a big gamer, but my brother was. And like, we played Mortal Kombat growing up. So like, just to be, you know, like to be a kid and play this and then like be in the franchise is amazing. And like, what a cool yeah. character. I've been doing commercials for a long time and um, and some animation and whatever. And, and uh, was always hearing people being like, oh, you have such a deep voice. Like you'd be great in games. You'd be great in games. And I'm like, well, great, but I never booked them. I'm never gonna book one, whatever. And I had auditioned for years, years and years and years and then then uh one day I was just like you know because I kept trying so hard to like figure out like what uh, this is what they're looking for and this is like whatever and one day I just gave it all up and I was like I can't I can't I can't decide what someone else wants. I can go in and I can just be me. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my thing. And I'm not going to book it anyway, because I never book these things. And, and I'm just, I'm not going to fix any mistakes. I'm just going to vomit all of this out. And that's what it's going to be. Yeah. And of course, that's the very first game that I ever booked, which ended up being Halo, um, which was, at, holy cow, which was amazing. And I was just like, that's, that's what you do. You go in and you don't try to figure anything out. And you're like, this is me. And this is like how I would do this. And if I'm right for this, great. And if somebody else is, then there's nothing else that I'm going to be able to do to show you that like, because it's not my job, you know, like it's some, yeah. it's someone else's job. So what's awesome. So, so that was Halo and like, what's the, your character in Halo? I was like the, the female Spartan. It was like war game. It was like Halo five. And so I was like the voice of the female Spartan. So if you were like going through war game shooting, like it was my voice or I was yelling at you if you were playing a different character. Um, so great, super fun, like fun battle experience, whatever. But this, the, so the studio was Warner brothers. Um, and then, uh, the director, um, was Amanda Wyatt, who is <gasps> my very best friends. Oh, she's amazing. 
he's amazing. And so then like cut to, I, I mean, 10 years later, over 10 years later, um, here comes like Mortal Kombat at Warner Brothers with Amanda Wyatt and and um, and and another uh, Dom uh, is also directed this. Um, but like th my very very first game, like very first booking in the video game world, years like a decade later, I'm back with that same studio and same director and and same team that I did Injustice with, and it was just like this really beautiful moment to be like. It all matters. It all it every, all matters. It all matters. Every little thing that you do, even if you don't know at the moment, like you're building all of this stuff to where that they're like, okay, we've we've known them. They've been in the game. Like we know their work. Like they can they can handle a character. Like they can handle this responsibility. Yeah. What does Frost sound like? Um, so she's like really gruff and uh, deep and crusty and mad all the time. She's just, How do you not hurt your voice doing that? That's amazing. You know, I, uh, here's another thing for people. I love that. I'm like, oh, we're talking about voice. Art. I also, uh, I, I am, I am a teacher. I've been a teacher my whole life. And I, so I, oh, everything is like this, oh, teachable moment, whatever. Do uh, it. So, so here's another thing. So when I was like growing up, I had, I, I've always had a deep voice and like, that ain't cool as a kid. But then uh, it's it's awesome now because I'm like, I make my entire living out of this deep voice that I got made fun of like as as a kid. Um, and so like, so, so great, great. Like if there's something that makes you so specific and stand out so much, it's, it is, it's your power. It's the, it's the greatest. So that's, I, I think that I end up, a lot of my characters are really like deep voiced um, because I just have a deep voice. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, it's I, like, it's like those, those people that talk like this and you're like, oh my God, that girl's weird. And then all of a sudden like they book a shit ton of anime and that's what they live off of. You just never know. And also that you just like, you know, showed me how she sounds is kind of incredible. I have a deep voice as well, um, yeah. but uh, I, you know, I go down here uh, and I do my smoker, you know, but oh, uh, the, the way you did- I love those. Uh, well, I wish we could play these two old smoking ladies. Oh my God! You see, mine's a Jewish New Yorker. What if a best friend is from the South? You know, best friend is a farmer, and they just get along. Let's talk about uh, Child Emperor in One Punch Man. We have a lot of One Punch Man fans here. Uh, what's Child Emperor sounds like? Sounds a little bit like uh, who's the kid from Game of Thrones? That stupid king, Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey. Like, am I wrong? So yes, yes, which okay, is okay. hilarious. I and I love that that was like the preface because anyone who like is the One Punch Man fan and like knows Child Emperor. So let me tell you, which I love that like your picture is Joffrey. Um, uh, Child Emperor is like this like little um, just genius kid who wears a backpack and holds a lollipop all the time, and he's just the smartest kid in the room. He's adorable and just he's a genius. And so when all the like um, all the like leaders and all the greatest minds come together. They bring, uh, they bring this little kid in and he's just like, um, can, can we wrap this up? Cause I got to go back to cram school. And like, he's just sitting there licking his lollipop and they're, they're all like fighting, trying to figure something out. And then he just is like, um, probably do this. Okay. I'm going to school. And then, but he like solves everything. Cause he's just like this tiny, adorable genius. Emmy, Emmy Vaught, Emmy Yox, who uh, started commenting on the chat for the first time in this stream. Um, oh, thank wants you. to know how you knew you wanted to become a voice actor and how did you choose this career path? And I am curious, like, as a kid, you obviously were creative and you had this, like, you had voices inside of you without sounding crazy. But uh, what what was it that you said, oh, I think I could I could start auditioning for this? Or, or was it one of those things where you kind of do, or you're doing something else and then you fall into it? Like, what's... Oh yeah. I had no idea. You guys, I grew up in the sticks in Tennessee. Like I didn't know this was a job. And to be fair back then, um, uh, I know I look so young, but, um, I, <laughs> not, uh, but I, it, it, we didn't have like w when I was growing up, like we didn't have celebrities that were in animation. 
it was it was all just this like unknown thing. So so voiceover wasn't like this job that was like talked about all the time that I feel like it's talked about now. So um, so I didn't know it all. And I, I moved to Los Angeles after I graduated college. Um, and then, uh, but I didn't go, I didn't go to like an acting school. I, I went to University of Tennessee, go balls. Uh, I loved it. But like, what'd you, I, what'd you I, study? I, I, I studied, um, uh, communications. So I was a broadcasting major. Um, okay. but I was just, so that made sense. Cause I, but it was like, I didn't know. So if anybody out there is like, you know, high school, college, and you're like, I don't know what I want to do. It's okay. I didn't know yeah. what I wanted to do. All I was doing is like drinking at football games on the weekends. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I was like, I know I can like, I, I knew I could talk. And so I was like, I could get through this major and I, and I'm not going to have to work really hard. Cause I know I could like talk my way out of it, which was like what I thought broadcasting was whatever. Yeah. So, so I have a broadcasting degree um, and then I moved to Los Angeles because I still was like, well, I don't want to work. I don't want to like work at a, a like a news station. I just didn't. That, I knew that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so I moved out here and I, I moved to L.A. and I started doing comedy. Um, and then I was like, I love it. And then I was doing on camera stuff. So I was doing a lot of like on camera commercial stuff and and um, uh, comedy stuff. And um, and then uh, I had like an agent that was just like, Hey, if you ever thought about doing voiceover, because like improvisers tend to be really good at voiceover. And I was like, yeah, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. Yeah. Bring it. I was just like, I, I was like, I just moved here. Sure. Let's talk about, um, power girl because somebody came on the Twitch and they were like, oh, have you talked about it yet? And we yeah. haven't really delved into it. So let's do it. How yeah. did this come about? Uh, how did you get inspired for this voice? You know, sometimes we see auditions and we just think that it comes to us. Sometimes we work it. It's yeah. So this one, this is another one. You guys, for me, I, I just, I, I, I do me in, in everything. It's just like, I find like how I can do this. Um, I loved, I didn't know what it was. It was codenamed. Um, yeah. But she's what I love about power girl is she's, uh, she's so funny. And Sean Kittleson like wrote uh, the best best lines for her she's so she's so witty and quippy and and i i just resonated with that because up i had always like all i had done is like comedy and so i i she's not very different like if you listen to her like she's not very different than my normal voice it's just like but she's funny she just makes fun of people and it's like every line Every line that she does is like she's rolling her eyes and shrugging her shoulders. Like, you know, she's like, okay, so you're going to, you think you're going to take on Power Girl. Cool. Okay. Good try. Bye. You know, like she's just love very, it. She's, she's very dismissive yeah. of everybody. And like, I, so I loved it. And then, um, yeah. So that was just, and then, uh, so I was introduced to um, the Nether Realm team with Injustice. And then they, hired me for um for frost and mortal Kombat. so frost frost would yeah, yeah. probably wouldn't have happened without power girl but i i met that team um and then they were like and it was very cute um because when we went in uh when i went in for mortal Kombat um and like met the team and everything they were like you know when we were like writing her like we we had you we had like your mannerisms in mind and your like delivery in mind for her, oh. which is like the greatest compliment like an actor can ever get. So then, so, so for the God of War fans, uh, how did, like, I just, for me, it's interesting, like how you book it and then what it turns into. Like, did you know what the hell God of War was? No, did and <laughs> let me tell you, this will be for every actor and everyone else that is just like, do your thing. That's what it is. So one of my favorite stories ever, of booking a role um, is God of War. Uh, you guys know who it's, it's the game of the year. It's huge. It's huge. I, maybe the most under wraps game I have ever been a part of. Um, so much so there's no, um, there's no direction for the copy. There's no name of the character. There's no, there's no signs of anything. It's just like random copy on a page. And again, no direction. So, so you don't know what to do with it. So I, I don't know anything. They don't give you background on the game or anything because they can't because they don't want people to figure out it's God of War. Like you, you just, 
There was nothing. So I get it. And again, old school comedian here. I'm like, whatever. I don't know what this is. It could be anything, but it would make me laugh. It would make me laugh to play this. It's not, it's very like um, a a very um, like intense dialogue. But I was like, or, or monologue. It wasn't dialogue with anybody. It was a monologue. And I was like, it'd make me laugh to play this as like a stand-up, like that I was doing a routine. So, oh my God. That's a brilliant take. I never would have thought of that. Oh, so this very intense monologue. I do it like I'm like doing a like yuck yuck routine. Um, and and I was and I'm not, you know, and I'm invested in it. So it's very I'm I'm committed. And that's the difference. Like you can you can make any choice. And as long as you're committed. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So I love it because. So Give me I, an example, though, because I'm understanding. But I like I know you don't have the monologue in front of you, but like like paraphrase. So so if it was just something like, you know, uh, like you know, my, my fellow people, like, uh, I, I don't know, but it would be like, yeah, my fellow people. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, how are you guys feeling about getting killed out there today? Not good. Right. Yeah. It's pretty terrible. Okay. You know, and then, so all of you who have played God of War, um, Hildur is like Valhalla awaits, like whatever this is like, she is, she is, uh, she's a Valkyrie and she's just like scary, whatever like it's she they're very hard to kill um and they're brutal and so what's amazing is i i go i i'm it's nowhere near that i'm not even like deep voiced in it um in the audition but then i go in and they were like anybody that would have like the balls to do that in an audition we yeah. know we can direct to do anything That's so true. so go they were like so don't do anything that you did in your audition. Just go in there. Now we're going to give you backstory on who your character is and just do that deep voice of yours. Like, that's it. Sarah, thank you so much. Thanks, uh, for, thanks for having me. I'm so honored. I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't do like appearances and stuff. Like I'm not, not one of those like famous voice actors. So I appreciate this. This was very fun. Thank you for asking. Yes. And so inspiring. So guys go, go out there and be the, the use that you want to be, because that's what we get made fun of is what we then make money off of. Hello people guys in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Keep booming and booping. Yes.